So here's my garden. And I wanted to give y'all a little tour of my garden. So these are uh, Trail of Tears, Cherokee Trail of Tears black beans. I have a few that did not come up and I've got to, uh, I need to reseed those, but not very many, just a few. Uh, if y'all remember, I'd gotten a little, um, a lady had given me about six seeds and I grew those last year uh, and harvested them just for seed this year. And so now I was able to plant a bigger crop of these and hopefully actually have a harvest this year. So, Cherokee Trail of Tears. Those are going really good. Then these are my green beans. Had a few little spots that didn't come up, so I reseeded those. Uh, just one or two in each little tub, you know. And so that's why I might have some that are a little bit smaller because those were the ones I reseeded. And then this next um, row right beside these are uh, pinto beans. So I've got some really nice pinto beans coming along. And I'll probably go green beans again in the fall. All right, so these are tomato plants. This year, I grew a variety that was new at the, the uh, garden center. Uh, as y'all know, I was so crazy busy this end of the year with my Christmas tour of homes. I did not start seeds this year. So I had to buy my tomato plants, but these are called Homestead 24. And I've got my onions, of course, dispersed in those with my marigolds. I need to come in here and start trimming these back a little bit, but they're Homestead 24s. And then here at the end, I have some other kinds. I have, um, let's see, well, maybe not on this row. Uh, I have some peppers, some banana peppers, some California Wonders, marigolds and onions mixed together. These right here are Rapunzel, little cherry tomatoes at the end of this. This is a lot of weeds and I need to get in here. I, I never know what might come up voluntarily, so I kind of let the weeds grow so I can see what might be coming up. And then, then I weed it. And I think that right there is a um, coxcomb coming up, I think. We'll see. These are some beets that I grew from seed. That's why they're not kind of, you know, you just kind of spread them on there and hope ones sprout. So they're kind of mixed up. More um, bell peppers onions, a few tomatoes that I had to replant because I lost some in the freeze. We had a little late little freeze snap and most of them did very well. I just covered them, but I did lose a couple, but most of them fared very well. This is my cauliflower and broccoli. Look, I've already got some broccoli heads going there. Very happy with that. Need to get out here and weed. Some more broccoli. Now these are all my Roma tomatoes. They're either Roma or I, when I went back to, if I had to uh, replace them, I couldn't find the San Marzano, so I had to replace them with Romas. But these are all those paste type tomatoes here. So this one really got bit back from the freeze, but it looked like it was gonna make it. And now you can see I've got new growth coming out. It's gonna be fine. This one got bit back from the freeze a little bit. It's gonna be fine. And then I've got two in each one of these because I, I didn't know if they were gonna make it at all. Some weeds in here I gotta get out today. But these are my purple hull peas. I just planted them like last week 
So they've already sprouted, so that's good. I'm going to have a good stand of purple hull peas. I've got some blue bonnets down there. Of course, in Texas, that's our state flower, so everybody needs to have some blue bonnets. I had a few come back from last year, and then I bought some new plants this year. A little windy today. My, my windmill's getting it. Of course, this is my compost pile. We pretty much used up all the compost, filling up my beds, topping off my beds to the left right there in the corner. That is always the finished compost. We keep moving it down. And so this is, you know, compost and leaves and manure. We're about ready to clean out the chicken uh, coop. And so we'll add some manure on top of that when we get back there is my sassafras tree I'm so excited that's come back this is some cabbage I have something that was eating on it I couldn't figure out what it was I haven't sprayed it or anything yet with any BT because it's not killed it but this is my cabbage and some onions <coughs> That is a um, citronella plant right there. I've got my porch all set up, but I don't have any pretty flowers or anything on it yet, but I do have it set up. We sat out here yesterday. That's why the chairs are kind of a little misaligned. We sat out here yesterday for Easter with some friends of ours. I'll show you some pictures of that. Grand grandbabies hunting Easter eggs out here. I'm getting my bottle tree done. I'm trying to get some green bottles so that I will have green on the bottom, then blue, and then I'm going to get some white bottles on top that'll look like a blue bonnet. Of course, there's the little um, digging pile and play pile for my grandbabies, and they played in that yesterday, even in their Easter dresses. I was just like, oh my gosh, she's playing in the dirt. We just let her have a good time. All right, so this is lemon balm. I don't have any of this planted up yet. Uh, these are some black eyed Susans coming up. Let them go, I'll let them go. My bee balm, I had pretty much moved all my bee balm over to another flower bed because it just got too tall here. But I do have a little bit coming up and um it just it got too tall and then it would go forward because they would hit that roof line and then lean forward really bad this is all this came back salvias and stuff except this this one right here i just bought that one and planted it so i've got a lot of things coming back i haven't done much to this bed but i do have some um some lantana coming back on the edges i need to get in here and weed other things that came back there's my bee balm that's coming it's doing really good I've got a little rose here it doesn't look so hot got my yarrows coming back that's gonna be nice several plants of that and then this is just some little ground cover and I got a, few, a little bit of that last year, and it's just kind of taken over. I'm going to have to kind of cull that back a little. But I haven't really done much to these beds. Just kind of cleaned off some of it and got it going. My asparagus, I've harvested some asparagus this year. This was kind of like my first year, really, to harvest it. I have some turnip greens in here growing. It's going crazy. And these, <laughs> these asparagus are just like, oh, they're going crazy in here. They're putting on seeds, so that's good. good. Maybe I'll put some seed in here, try to get a thicker stand of this next year. And this is some more turnip greens. This is about ready to harvest. So I'll get all this harvested. Have some fresh turnip greens. That'll be good. A 
My pinata rose is blooming. It's always so pretty. It's got multiple colors in there. It's got pink, yellow, and orange. So it's called pinata. And it's loaded with blooms. So it's going to be really pretty this year. Look at all those blooms about ready to pop really pretty i didn't i forgot to cut it back in february 14th so i didn't get it cut back this year but it's gonna be pretty really good really happy with that so here's my little garden one thing i forgot to show y'all is this right over here this bed here lad's gonna try to grow some corn we seeded that the other day so hopefully i see a few little corn coming up i think so we'll kind of let this go a while i probably won't weed it because i think i've got some corn coming up in there till we can fish for sure say what's corn and what's not Thanks for visiting with me. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Here's my chickens. Hey, girls. They're running all over here because they know we give them snacks all the time. Got this little bed. My cannas are coming up. That's my rose of Sharon that I took those cuttings off of. I've got zinnias coming up in here. And hopefully I've got some sunflower seeds coming up in the back. I planted sunflower seeds in the back of it so hopefully those come up but definitely my zinnias have sprouted so i'll have lots of pretty zinnias <laughs> hey that's old blue any pretty oh there's some of my baby chicks like i say they're pretty getting pretty big they're getting ready Probably won't be a couple more weeks. They'll be ready to go in with the big girls. These are golden sex links. I really like those. And then that. See some of those little girls right there? Those are some young teenagers that we hatched and put in there. Or not hatched. That we, we bought and grew out some baby chicks and put in there. Got a lot more in there. I don't know where they're at. They must be inside because I've got a lot of them.